Well, I, I was going to ask you what kind of clothes you like to wear, but I guess we're looking at those, aren't we? Yep, yeah. you got it. <laughs> well, what other kinds of clothes do you like to wear? Um, basically, uh, very uh, feminine, very sensuous, a uh, little sex appeal to it. You're a bodybuilder, aren't you? Yeah, I work out. Yeah, I can tell. No, you, do, you do more and work out. Yeah. Now, tell me, tell me some of these unusual ways that you meet men. Well, uh, my last boyfriend, I met him doing a handstand in a bar. Well, hey, that's, <laughs> that's unusual. There's no question well, I had one that. of my designs on. It was a uh, little uh, dress, but, you know, there's shorts attached. Mm -hmm. you know, so. Thank you for telling us you. <laughs> And um, I guess the other way is um, I'm uh, pretty much a pool shark. And so oh, I yeah. meet guys, I, I meet some pretty good money. <laughs> so you're also a hustler? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's take a look at the tapes of Lisa Sonner. Remember, you're going to vote again. First, there's Mike. He was raised in Casper, Wyoming, and he claims to date between 7 and 15 times a month. He thinks his worst habit is waiting until the last minute to do things, and Mike told us why it takes him about an hour to do his hair. I just kind of paste it down, blow dry it, and, and uh, you know, spray it, and I go. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, the more hair, the longer it takes. Oh, I guess we're back, aren't we? Next, there's Steve. The first two things that he notices about a woman are her eyes and her aura. Uh, he says that his last relationship ended because she wanted to get married, but uh, he wasn't ready yet. Steve told us how he deals with women he meets while bartending. I usually don't pull the scam or hit on them. I usually let them, you know, if, if I get a little vibration from them or, or you know, they, they, they'll usually let me know first. I won't, I won't, you know, abuse the job and go out of my way and try to, you know, hustle them, I'll let them, I'll let them come to me or, or you know, make the first move because I don't want to, you know, fish off the company dock. <laughs> Finally, uh, Frank, everything will happen on Lisa's date tomorrow. That's our show for today. We'll be back tomorrow with Lisa and more singles trying to make a love connection. Until then, I'm Chuck Woolery, and I hope all your dates are good ones tonight. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>